All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Instagram Live. Hopefully we'll have some friends joining us today. You can always find these videos on our website. Today is the start of week seven of our Instagram Live lessons. I cannot believe it's week seven. So we have focus each week on a different pillar of Junior Achievement's mission. So those three things are financial literacy, entrepreneurship, and work readiness. So if you've been with us since the beginning, you've seen each week is a different theme. This week is entrepreneurship. Do we have anyone with us yet? Yay, who's with us? We have Elle and Eden. Oh, yay. Thank you guys for joining us. We're so glad you're here. So Tuesdays, we focus on elementary school, Wednesday, junior high, and Thursday, high school. Although we're happy to have you join us every day. Uh, I think you can take a little bit of uh, learning from each lesson. So this week is entrepreneurship and Aiden or Al, can someone or anyone else that's joined us, what does it mean to be an entrepreneur? We've talked about this before, but let's do a little refresher. What does that mean to be an entrepreneur? Hmm. Do one of you mind typing what you think that is? Let's see if what you're thinking is what I'm gonna say. Let's see if we have the same definition. So an entrepreneur is someone who starts their own business. Did we get some of those answers? Aiden said your job and you own your own business. You own your own business. It's really nice. I've been an entrepreneur. I've started a few different businesses and it's kind of nice. So uh, this week we're gonna focus on, do you want to be an entrepreneur? What does it take to be an entrepreneur? And um, today I'm gonna read a story about uh, student Charlie and his class, who they become entrepreneurs. So before we get into the book, I want to go over some flashcards of th words and concepts that we have talked about over the last seven or six weeks and see if you, they're like, oh yeah, I know these words, I know what they mean. So I think you all know what this is, how to earn money. So earning means to get money for a job you do, right? A job that you did, you earn the money. Now. We've talked about chores and some of you earn money to do chores and others of you don't. So that's kind of depends on the family. Uh, what are some other ways that you've earned money? You've got money for a job that you did. Let's think about how you've earned money. Go ahead and give me an example. How you've earned, aha, and money. Here we go, something used to pay for the things we need or want. So I see a debit card, I see some dollars and change. Anyone want some money? Anyone want to sit? Tell us how you earn some money. Elle earns money by doing chores. Oh, do you? Okay, that's so great. Yeah, some families do that, some don't. So I think you're lucky, right? Uh, so yeah, that's a different way. Um, I have a friend whose daughter is an entrepreneur. She started a poop scooping company in her neighborhood. So she went around to all of the neighbors and said, I'll come with plastic bags and scoop all your dog's poop. And she makes about $200 a month doing that. So there's all sorts of different ways that you can earn money. Okay, so when you do earn money, you have money because you have things that you need and things that you want and you use that money. So needs are something that you must have to live. So you need food, you need water, you need clothes, you need a house. Uh, you know, things like that that you need to survive. Now, something that you want is that you would like to have, right? So you have a job, you earn money, uh, and you buy things that you need and want. Sometimes there's things that we want, but we say we really need that. And really, it's probably a want. So you kind of have to decide, how much money do I have? What are my needs? What do I need to pay for? And then what do I have left over for what I want? And we talk about in Junior Achievement to pay yourself first. So when you make money, whether you're, it's your own business or you work at a, someone else's company, uh, you put money into savings, you pay yourself first, and then you take care of your needs and then your wants. You can donate money, you can invest it. Uh, we've also talked about goods and services. So businesses provide goods and services. That's ways that you can earn money. That's what you pay money for. Uh, so, goods are things that are bought and sold. If you can give me an example of a good that maybe your family had to buy this week. What's a good that your family bought? Let me know. And services, work done for others such as haircuts and, or car repairs. So 
we've talked about these both before. So think about what is a good that your family's bought and what's a service that your family might need that you might pay money for. Goods and services. Aiden said food and Elle said cream cheese. Yeah, now is cream cheese a need or a want? I think it might be a need, depending on, you know, if you, yeah, you can add, yeah, so good. Those are things that, yeah, grocery shopping, your parents need to get that food in the house. Now, a service, uh, a lot of our service companies aren't in business right now, right? Haircuts, uh, different things like that, but car repairs, different things. There are services that you can provide uh, for others as an entrepreneur or that you can purchase. So those are some words and some concepts that we've talked about throughout the last six weeks. And now I'm gonna go ahead and read a story. It's called Charlie Plants a Garden. So I thought it was fitting to sit here in Sprouts, right? How many of you have been to Sprouts or shop at Sprouts? Uh, since the theme of the book is a garden, I thought, why not? When students are here in J.A. Biztown, this is one of the businesses and kids come and they do a quiz they get products, they do uh, a couple different activities. So I thought this would be a fun place. So let's go ahead and start reading. Do we have any other goods or services or any other comments? Yard work as a service. Oh yeah, that's really important. That's really important. Okay, thank you for those comments. All right, so this story is called Charlie Plants a Garden. And I want you to think about as I'm reading it, uh, what concepts that we've talked about are in this book, okay? So here we go. Okay, Charlie sat with his grandmother at the kitchen table. It was the first day of spring. When I was a little girl, I lived on a farm, Grandma Laura said. Each spring we planted a vegetable garden. The corn was sweet and delicious. I haven't planted a vegetable garden in a long time, Grandma Laura sighed. Have any of you planted a garden? I love gardens. I'm not really the best gardener, but I love having plants, but I don't tend to keep them alive. But how about you guys? Have you planted anything? I hope you uh, are better gardeners than I am. Uh, but I love the idea. I just need some help keeping my plants alive. All right, the next day, Charlie walked to school with his friends. A vegetable garden sounded like a great idea, he thought. Why couldn't the neighborhood have its own garden filled with fresh vegetables for everyone to enjoy? Charlie told his teacher, Mr. Jacobs, his idea for a vegetable garden. Mr. Jacobs smiled. I think we can make your idea for our class project and share what we grow with the community. Aha! Mr. Jacobs said some of the vegetables would go to the local food pantry to feed the hungry. Charlie and his classmates couldn't wait to get started. Aha, so I hear what's happening is they're starting, okay, we could do this nice service for other people. So that is, that's a good, uh, a good business strategy, providing something for people that need it. After working out the details, Mr. Jacobs said the class could start a neighborhood garden in the empty space across the street from the school. Mr. Jacobs gave everyone a letter to take home explaining the class project and inviting families to help. A garden would need lots of things. Mr. Jacobs told the students they would sell seed cups for $1 each to raise money. Aha, so they're going to make money selling seed cups and they're going to use that money for their business. What do you think a garden needs? What are they going to need to... Uh, spend their money on. Elle said she made a greenhouse and planted lots of vegetables. Oh, that's so cool. There's nothing better than eating things from your garden. All right, let's see what the class does. Mr. Jacobs helped the students get started. He gave everyone two packets. One packet had flower seeds and the other packets had vegetable seeds. Mr. Jacobs showed everyone how to glue the pictures of their plants onto the outside of the cups. So here we go. When the glue had dried, the students put soil in the cups. They put seeds on top of the soil and then covered them with more soil. Mr. Jacobs had the students put their cups on the table by the window. Everyone took a turn watering the seeds. I hope they grow. Little green sprouts, there we go, soon pushed up from the dark soil. In a few weeks, the vegetable plants would be big enough to plant in the garden. That's a great project for that class. While they waited for the vegetable plants to grow, students sold the flower cups. Aha, remember they're selling those 
for a dollar to earn money for their, their business. Family and friends put the cups in their windows for neighbors to see. When all the money had been collected, Mr. Jacobs told the class they had enough to buy two rakes, two shovels, a hose, and a watering can. They were ready to start work in their garden. All right, so they sold all those seed cups and they had the money. So what they did is they invested that money back into their business to help grow some more. They could have taken that money and spent it on something else, invested it, but they used it to help their business continue. They were ready to start work in their garden. Here we go. Look at that. Charlie liked digging in the dirt in the garden. He carefully measured the space between the holes he dug. He filled the holes with corn plants and patted the dirt in place. Spring came and went. Soon it was summer. Charlie, his neighbors and classmates, visited the neighborhood garden often, pulling weeds and watering the plants. Looks like things are growing nicely. That is so great. Finally, the garden was ready for everyone in the neighborhood to start picking vegetables. Look at that corn. Woo. Charlie picked corn to give to the food pantry and some to take home. Grandma Laura cooked the corn that night for dinner. Charlie's garden corn was sweet and fresh, just like the corn Grandma Laura grew when she was young. Charlie felt happy. He knew he'd worked hard and done something special for the neighborhood. So that is it. Yay for Charlie and his class, right? So they were entrepreneurs, right? They had an idea to start this gardening business. They sold the, the seed uh, buckets or the seed, I'm losing my mind, their seeds uh, to earn money for the garden. And then they used that money to plant more. And then they gave away some of the vegetables to the food pantry and they took it home. Could they have sold some of their vegetables as well to make more money? Yeah, there's lots of things they could do. And then the money they take from selling the vegetables, they could go back and plant some more. So that was a great little story. Uh, hopefully it inspired you. Maybe there's an idea that you want to do to be an entrepreneur. Maybe you can uh, sell goods or services. You can do something for the community with some of the money that you make. There's so much you can do. Lots of time to think about things right now, isn't there? So thank you so much for joining us for today, Charlie Plants a Garden. Tomorrow we're going to talk about what else do you need to become an entrepreneur? There's some different things to help you be successful. So if you want to tune in tomorrow, uh, we'll talk more about being an entrepreneur. So any other comments before we go? We're so glad you're joining us and we'll see you next time.